Hi, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. My name is Raven Morgan. Today is April 4th. A few days ago, a user by the name of Your Neck suggested that I show you all my trade cloth dresses. I'm going to show you because their name literally is Your Neck. So thank you, Your Neck for the suggestion. I really liked it, obviously, because I'm doing it. I am Cheyenne Arapaho Pawnee Oto. So when I dance, I dance Cheyenne style. I dancing when I was seven years old. My grandma had my first dress made for me and I was brought out in Oklahoma City. This is whenever I was first brought into the arena in a shell dress. After that, my mom learned how to sew. Well, this, most of it, except for maybe a few exceptions, is all of my mother. So shout out to you, Lorinda Morgan. <laughs> my mom has always used the term, like, tea dress. And so, like, that's what I have always called it, tea dress. And I can't remember, one of my friends one time said something about wing dress. And I was like, what? So, I'm going to be calling them tea dresses. You can call them whatever you want, but that's what, that's what I call them. And also, like, the term trade cloth. I, I've always said broad cloth. I am not all that familiar with material, so I don't know all of the exact material that all of these dresses are. I currently don't dance in all of them, but I'm still going to show you the ones that I've had kind of kept away in my little storage in my closet. So I think those are the ones that I'm going to show you first or put away in my storage. So they're going to be wrinkly, but I wanted to show them anyways because I missed them. Like I was bringing them out and I was like, Aww. So I wore this one just a few years ago. I love it. I love those flowers. It's super lightweight, a perfect like summer dress. Um, this one is pretty worn just because I used to wear it with my purple beadwork set. And I had those like um, metal uh, rhinestone banding and it used to catch on everything. Like this side, and then you can see it on this side. Dresses. This dress was actually my mom's, um, but she gave it to me. Again, I'm not sure on material, but it's pretty thick and it's really nice. I used to wear this whenever I was the Marine, Native American Marine Corps Veterans Association princess. And it's just, it's just a nice dress, very um, patriotic. This dress, I love. I wish I could fit it now. So, in 2015, here's the bottom. In 2015, at Rocky Boy, um, they had a mother-daughter special. And so my mom has a matching dress to go with this. Except hers, like her, um, this was yellow. And we had so much fun, like, coming up with a routine and stuff, and we took pictures and our matching dresses, and it was just so fun. I, again, I wish I could fit this, but I'm kind of chubbier now. <laughs> oh, this dress. This is such a nice material. I love it. The birds, the flowers, this was my freaking favorite. I was actually, my parents had a family friend. Uh, make this dress for me. This dress my mom made. Um, it's really cute. I really like it. I only I think I only wore it like a few times. I think she had this like as some scrap material, so she added it. I really like it. It's really really cute and kind of like spring. It reminds me of like Easter or something. I was at a powwow one time. I think it was in Concho. This man was selling some really nice material. Walking by, looking. And he was like, hey, is your grandfather Tom Morgan? And I said, yeah, like, what up? And he gave me some material. And I was just like, okay. I'm like, oh, I wish I could remember his name. Material, my mom sewed this for me. I took it home. She sewed it up for me. But um, there, I, I can't iron it. Like, I just can't. It's now been, you know, I put it in my storage bin so it's like really wrinkle but before like I could just never iron it it doesn't really like look as good as it could um and then some of the um some of the stuff on it kind of came off a little bit like right here but I really really love this dress I wish I could have worn it more 
this was like the perfect summer dress i used to even contest in this i can't i don't know if you can tell but there's like little sparklies on it and i used to get them everywhere so i used to just wear this and i'd wear like a thick white tank top underneath and then of course i'd wear shorts duh and then i would wear um, a slip and then i wore a wrap around so this was like really cute um totally summer vibes you know but i miss wearing this i wonder if i could fit it now oh no this dress was like my stuff this paisley oh my god it is so perfect i love it i just feel so pretty well i felt pretty in all my dresses a eh? but i felt especially pretty when i would wear this polka dot orange dress it has uh, sparklies on it again and it's just so pretty I have orange in my purple and green beadwork, so it went really good with it. And you know, I love me some sparklies. So when I was 14, I was the Pawnee Nation princess, and I had a handful, maybe five skirts, maybe six skirts that my mom made. And my mom's a Cheyenne, so she had to like figure out how to make Pawnee stuff for me, and I'm really thankful and um, we actually ended up kind of gifting some of it away or selling some of it. I still have a little bit left, but I just wanted to show off um, what I wore for like a year and a half. Because I think that's how long I was Pawnee Princess. So, this is a Pawnee skirt, or one kind of Pawnee skirt. Um, again, it was put away, so it's kind of wrinkly. But um, I had the four ribbons at the bottom to represent the four bands of the Pawnee which my family is all for, so this was like one of my nicer ones that I wore to rep. This dress was actually my mom's dress, but I overed on it, so she gave it to me. And um, you see me wearing this dress now. It is this purple polka dot, it kind of looks blue, and then it has like turquoise on the edging, and I just love this dress. Okay, this next dress I'm going to show you is the first dress I sewed by myself. It kind of it came undone on the neck, so it kind of looks really good. But this is the first dress that I sewed all by myself. I just kind of went off of, um, I looked at one of my mom's dresses that she made for me, which is, you know, any one of those. And I just kind of went off of the, the way that she did it. So, ta-da! It has sparkles, if you can't see. So, this I actually um, this material I actually picked up at the LA Fabric District. I know it's not the fanciest, but I really love these flowers and the colors and the sparkles. So I got this material in 2018, um, and then I just got the ribbons at I think it was Hobby Lobby. So oh, this next dress my mom also made, duh, um, but she made it for me, and I think I wore this in the Miss Indian World competition, I can't remember, but um, this is a cotton dress, and it has, it is so beautiful, I think it's so pretty, I love the color, and the pink, and the birds, and the flowers, it's just so just pretty, and I really wore it a lot. Um, 2017, 2018. So I've kind of given it a break. I'm not sure if I'll put it away or not. But yeah, I really, really love this dress. So this dress was given to me, um, I think in fall, winter 2018. And it was given to me and made by one of my grandmas, Luella Old Bear. I'm just really thankful that she gave it to me. both um wear dresses that I hijacked from my mother so first one is this dress so I freaking love this dress I think it is so pretty I love these flowers and again it's like it's like the pink one it's added to the bottom this is like a cute summer dress and it's really flowy I wear this a lot when I was Marine Corps princess a few years ago 
here we have this velvet and these ribbons oh my gosh but, um i did kind of i was wearing it a lot so i kind of put it away for a little bit but i really 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 love this dress and that's why i stole it from my mom so this next dress um was my mom's again i overed on it because i'm just a brat i guess but um she did give it to me and i love it so this is corduroy it has shells on the bottom um she gave it to me and i added the shells and i actually really like how it looks on and you know it goes good with my beadwork that i wear now and I just love it. I wish the shells were bigger, but this was the only size available when I ordered from Crazy Crow. Um, I wanted, like, those really big shells from, like, when I first started dancing. Like, if you see the shells on that dress, like, they're freaking huge. But um, those are hard to come by now, I guess. But, yeah. I usually contest in this dress. In 2017, I ran for Miss Indian World, and for my talent, I told the story of Shell Woman at Sand Creek Massacre, and I am a descendant of Shell Woman. So my mom made this beautiful velvet dress, and she added all of these shells to the top. So I wore it then. I've worn it a few times. Um, I really, I really love this dress. It's really um, something special, you know, that my mom put some thought and time into, and. Um, yeah, I know I, I don't wear it that often, but it's just something that I'm really still glad to have. My mom made this, so. So that is Shell Woman, a little boy. The gold is the snow on the ground. The um, sequins are the stars, and of course the teepee next to them. So that's what I wore wrapped around my, my waist whenever I told the story on stage at the Missing in World Talent. So we're getting into my um, broadcloth dresses. This dress I'm going to show you is the only broadcloth that I bought off of someone. And it already um, was a complete dress. If you watched the India vlog, you saw that I redid the top of this dress and added teeth to it. So here she is. I bought this dress, I want to say like... I bought this maybe like 2015, 2016. Here's the teeth. And I added sequins. So, yeah! I think there's like 300 teeth on here maybe. Um, yeah, and then there's some on the bottom, of course. In 2011, I ran and won Junior Miss Indian Oklahoma, and this is the dress that my mom made me for the pageant. Oh my god, I could just, I just love this green so much. This is um, American broadcloth, and I really want to wear it again. Um, I'd have to lose a few pounds, but I definitely want to add the sequins to, again to the dress, um, just because I feel like it adds, you know, a little spiciness to it but yeah i wore the heck out of this dress too and it is still in like really really good shape so yeah girl this next dress is worn oh she is worn so i wore this when i ran for missing in world as well so my mom made this for me in 2017. I did go with the three band broadcloth. That was what I could find at the time, which no hate to three band. It just, you know, I wore it a lot. And so it kind of, you know, I don't know if you can tell, but you can tell it's, it was worn very well. So, um, yeah, I did. This was the first dress that I added the sequins to um, on the teeth. And then I don't know why or where I got the inspiration, but I sewed this like zigzag design onto the sleeves. So I really, I really want another like cream broadcloth. This next dress was my mom's and I took it over again. So this um, used to have um, teeth on it, kind of on the edge. 
But what I want to do um, is, again, add teeth all to the top and add sequins on it. So I don't really wear this. I haven't worn this dress in a while. I think I did wear it last year at Comanche Little Ponies. Um, but this is definitely a dress that I would probably only wear with my purple beadwork that I have. So you've all seen me in this dress. No! This Robin's Egg Teton. And yes, I made it myself. I can't remember how much how many teeth are on here. There's a lot. But yeah, again, I did the teeth with the sequins on there. This is my first bar cloth dress that I sewed by myself. And I'm pretty proud of it. Um, it's not perfect, obviously. Like, I know where I need to improve next time I try to make myself a dress. But, yeah. I'm really happy with it. Um, and I can't wait to hopefully make another bar cloth dress cloth dress broad cloth dress soon 2014 I ran for Miss Indian Oklahoma and this was the dress that my mom made for me to wear um, this is my favorite dress that my, my mom has ever made me um, she even says it too like this is her favorite dress that she made me it is orange American broadcloth and I absolutely love it I eventually I think I might do it while we're you know being quarantined social distancing um, I think I want to add the sequins to this dress too like for the teeth just because I like the way it looks now and it'll add a little something new to the dress but yeah this is like my favorite dress ever those are all of my dresses um, I had so much fun showing you and like I'm just sharing you know I'm really grateful for everything that I have and you know that I'm able to dance and I'm able to wear these dresses that people have made for me and that I've made for myself I haven't grown in height since I was 12 so I've had a lot of these all of these for like years and years and years and years like really long time almost like a whole decade some of them thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day i hope you're staying safe and staying home and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye